Welcome back to another edition of Keep My Shorts. Uh, right here in the original Ratten Chair. Smoking me a Lucky Strike cigarette. I'm sorting the world's problems out before I show a monster energy drink in my pie hole and my morning medications. And apparently that's what I need to do now. Be medicated. So, I reported on a story about my old drinking pal, Steve. Uh where I got a text from him in his telephone that Steve blew his brains out, be better, by. Uh, that's only half the story. Um, and I need to tell the whole story. Uh, it's a fucked up story. Uh, he told me the story, I know, because I talked to him on the phone. Steve is alive and very well right now. In fact, he's quite crabby, he missed. And uh, I guess we need to have a, a talk about, what is it, uh, Suicide is Not a Joke, Part 2. And I know you're going to think, well, Joe, you're making this fucking story up. No. Trust me, I'm not. <laughs> uh, if I wanted to make this up, I could probably make it a lot better. But this is the fucking truth of the matter, and this is really fucking... It was like hearing a voice from the dead. I'm like, old man, uh, aren't you dead? And he's like, yeah, that's what that cocksucking nurse told everybody. The fucking bitch. And so I took out my little 25 automatic. I committed suicide. And I woke up in the goddamn hospital. Uh, he, he cocked his little 25 automatic. Stuck it to his temple. Pulled the trigger. The bullet bounced off part of his skull, bounced out the back of it, created a skin flap, right? So he had fucking minor injuries. He was in intensive care for two days, right? So this twat nurse grabs his fucking phone, and guess what she does? She texts me and his quote-unquote asshole little brother. The only two people he ever talks to on his phone, me and his asshole little brother, saying Steve blew his brains out, be better by. Well, Steve didn't blow his brains out because his little pistol didn't have enough oompa to, to pop out his noggin, for lack of a better term. And yes, uh, I'm still intoxicated because I woke up in the middle of the night to this old fart calling me. I'm like, Aren't you dead? I'm like, yeah, that's what they fucking told you. I sat up here with Carol until midnight having having drinks. Uh, Carol doesn't drink, but I did. But he's sitting there. I mean, he was talking to me. He sounded just as lucid as the day he was made. You know, at least as far as I know. I mean, he's old. He's a little senile, but, I mean, aren't we all at that age? Right? And he's watching Band of Brothers, having a great old time. You know, we're discussing the, the finer plan of uh, Colonel Winters and uh, why he didn't drink until the end of the show. And uh, his pal that always did drink too much and got in trouble for it. You know. But yeah, no, Steve is alive and well. And, and I shit you not. And the thing that really is just a gasser to me, like, about this whole thing is, I'm like, well, don't do that again. He's like, the next time I do it, I'm sticking that fucking pistol in my mouth. So they gave him his fucking pistol back after he shot himself in the head. I'm being quiet right now because I want that to sink in. Not just because I'm still moderately intoxicated. Uh, I need a liquor store. One opens up in four hours. Uh, I'll summon Carol's help for that or a kid. Who, whoever is leaving the house. Or it doesn't matter. Okay. So, a little recap on this. Steve pulled his pistol out of his storage unit. Went to his motel room after he got off the phone with me getting drunk one night. That night. Shot himself in the head. The bullet did not kill him. 
He woke up out of the emergency room after some twat nurse at the VA text me and his little asshole brother, as he calls him, okay, saying, Steve blew his brains out, be better, bye. Well, we are all worried he was dead, a whopping two of us, the only two people apparently that care about the old fart, okay? And now he's back at his motel room that he shot himself in the head in, on his last tall boy a beer, uh, fucking talking about getting glass water and going back to sleep. So, let that be a lesson to you, children. Uh, suicide is not a joke, part two. Because, I mean, I mean, he told me all about it. And the thing was, the kicker of it was, he's like, God damn it, if I wasn't such a lousy shot, I wouldn't be talking to your dumb ass on the phone right now. I'm like, well, I missed you too, you old fuck. You know? But yeah, I'll be a son of a bitch. And, uh, I guess, fuck, we need a word of the day for this one. Uh, how about red-ass baboon? Because apparently they, they have blue-ass baboons, according to Guardsman Uh, I'd be a blue-ass baboon if they actually existed. Uh, I'm probably still a red-ass baboon. I, I don't know. But, but motherfucker. I can't believe the old fuck's alive. Uh, hell, if I had the money, I'd go down to Mulligan's Tavern today since Sunday and buy him a fucking hamburger and see how his head's doing. I mean, shit. But yeah. <clears throat> Take care. God bless. Have a wonderful Sunday. And fucking hell. I don't even know what can eat my shorts yet. Uh, I, I just, I'm sitting here in fucking wonderment still.